What's up, guys? Oh, we got a little feedback there. Sorry about that. Saturday afternoon, you're watching the 2024 Music City Split Bracket. 64 on the high side, 128 on the low side. They actually have the high side Calcutta done. They're playing those matches now. The low side, 128 player Calcutta is still going on. Got Mr. Roland Garcia here. Playing Daryl Lane. Looks like Roland's going to 13. Daryl's going to 6. <clears throat> My name's Frank Mileti, the cue ball from the pool hall. You're giving me some action today. A little under the weather, so my voice might be a little nasally, so bear with me for a little bit. If you can, like, share, subscribe. Make sure we get this out to everybody. I'll be sitting here all day, most of the night, too. Got a couple good players in this tournament. A lot of good high-end players, six, 700 players from the Midwest. I know Roland Garcia is in this. I believe uh, Scott Frost, Rob Sayers. Some real good action here. Don't, uh, this is bar box nine ball, so don't count anybody out. Even a Low-end player that sneaks through could play real strong in these events. Jump around a little bit here. Just getting our screens all set up. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. There's probably not too much going on in your area. Again, thanks for watching us. All right, Roland looks like he's setting up his rack here, getting himself ready. of people at this event this is in this event's in jo at jobs billiards down in madison tennessee Here with our next rack. I'm just getting a couple screens set up real quick for you guys. Kind of got caught off guard just a little bit. Thought I had a few more minutes to, to go before we started, but. Roland's going to push out and give Mr. Darrell Lane a chance at the table. So Darrell has to go to six. Roland has to go to 13. Nice jump shot. Hey, okay, Mr. Hall. Or Mr. Lane, I'm sorry. Mr. Lane. So a little jump shot there. Let's see if we can find some information on Daryl Lane. See what Fargo has him rated as. Fargo's got two Daryl Lanes from Tennessee. 
believe this is probably going to be Daryl Lane Jr., 629 Fargo. There's another Daryl Lane with 732 Fargo. Don't believe that's the same person. And, of course, Roland Garcia. It's an 810 Fargo. That makes sense. He's probably the lower. Six, 629 Fargo with the game spot. All right, I'm doing remote access from Philadelphia. Streaming this event. Do a 6 9 combo coming up right here. If you've ever been to one of these split brackets, no one is safe. Score makes it 1 1. Daryl Roland. We got 1-1, one, one, Daryl Roland. Daryl the break. Get the feed being supplied to us by Digital Pool. So if you're just joining us, I don't have access. I have access to the cameras, obviously, but I do not have access to move the camera or touch the camera as I am hundreds of miles away. Do my best to provide you with some good commentary, good views of the table as best as I can. Try to move this table up in the middle of the screen a little bit better for you. Three nine, real quick. Oh, when he hangs it up. All right, look for Roland to cut the three. Could also be drawing off the three and try to make the nine, too. A little low left English, but I think I'm just going to make the three. Bumps the five out. Oh, that's going to be a quick rack. I got a little a little bit of a color spot here. I, that looked like it was the eight ball to me. That's the four ball. So he did not want to get to that position. To readjust my screen real quick. Pour my eyes. We can't just mess around with that for a second. Brighten it up a little bit. Oh, God, he just missed that. I'm going to throw a filter on this real quick, guys. See if we can get a little bit of a uh, little brightness for you. Maybe brighten it up just a little bit. Right, Dow's going to go up 2-1 to one on Roland Garcia. Guys, check out my my buddy that owns Living Good Ball Club, livinggoodshop.com. They make all kinds of billiard art and apparel. Max Gordon is a good guy. Also does a lot of work with Kamui at the Kamui booth. 
I'm seeing them at the uh, 2024 Super Billiards Expo, and they're going to be running the limited edition 2024 Super Billiards Expo event shirt. Where you can check them out on Instagram at Living Ball, Living Good Ball Club. All right, rack number four. Mr. Lane's up two to one on Roland Garcia. Be afraid to talk to me in the chat. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share. Build it up for today. I'm gonna be here for a while. Chance at the table. Don't see any obstacles. Five to six might be the tough shot, but not incredibly tough. They are playing on bar box tables, so they should be able to move the ball pretty well. straight on the four high ball with a hair with a hair low English just come across for the six oh try to try to role play it I don't know why he would just not just play that in and come across And Mr. Lane, another chance at the table. Owen's got to get moving. I want to give too many away right away. Actually, in bar box. Anybody get out of bar box? All right, six to the seven. Seven a little high, just up one rail for the eight. Could also draw it out two rails. Low left. Move the eight forward. I think you want to be above the eight. Did not want to be in that position. Still should be okay from there though. Get up into the corner, just let the cue ball roll. Just take whatever you get on the nine. All right, they should have the clear nine, right? The, I'm going to call it the top right corner. Sideways corner, I guess you'll call it. All right. I'm going to mess around with this camera one second to see if maybe I can straighten this table out on an even line here. Just bear with me one second. Let me see if there's something I can do for it. Rotate it a little bit. Nah, that's not going to work. Yeah. One more check. Yeah. All right. All right, I tried, guys. It's going to be on a slight little angle like this. All right, three to one. Daryl Lane is up over Roland Garcia. He needs three. Roland needs 12.
All right, rolling with a chance to get out. Gonna play the five, come two rails, six in the side pocket, or play the six in the corner, depending on how he leaves himself. Six in the side. I'm gonna hit this low left, come around three rails. A little center ball action. I don't even stop it. Just play right into the corner. Roland's going to shoot that in the corner. I think somebody's a little quick on the scoreboard. Roland's going to get the three to two. Alright, we're at three to two. Rolling breaking, trying to tie it up. A little bit of a soft break. Not gonna have a shot at the one. He's going to shoot the one. He doesn't really tie it up on that seven. He should be out. Should be able to get past it, though. I don't know. It's tight. Looks like he looks like he locked up on it pretty good. And oh, gets the bad kiss. That was a good shot there. Just got the bad kiss off of it. Uh, I adjusted the camera on the main table, made it a little bit bigger for you. Fill up your screen a little bit better. Roland's going to be going away from the six. There's a couple options he can do. He can just kind of pinch it up and try to leave a seven as a blocker. He could draw low left, or sorry, low right. He's trying to catch the two rails, spin out. Tough shot. Not a tough shot, but a little bit of a backwards cut.
All right, looks like Daryl's going to get out. Make it four to two. He's going to need two. Roland's going to need 11. I'm going to pin the uh, live scoring bracket up to the top there for you. you click on that if you want to check the scores. All right, we got 4-2 right now. Darryl Lane over Roland Garcia. It's a two-day event. A lot of people. This is about 192 players. break nine doesn't count on the break nine stays down until after you're done your sh you're shooting at the table if you run to the nine then they spot the nine three balls down on the break six is in a tough spot he might have to run into the six on the way out of the one six looks like it can actually you know what the six can be made it looks like Looking at the edge of the six, he should be able to play it in just slightly off the rail. Not seeing any obstacles. He wants to come right between that five eight. Up and down. I don't know why. It's going to scratch us. Going to get rolling a chance to get out. This is the 6-9, and he's going to get himself in bad position. I've actually talked to a couple of pro players before that told me that sometimes a bar table is their kryptonite because they try to do too much on the bar table, knowing they can they can move the cue ball a lot. And they said sometimes it actually does hurt them with their stroke because they just trying to do everything instead of just simplifying. Give Mr. Lane a shot. Got the five in the corner. If he's straight in, if he's straight in, he can shoot the five right into the corner. Just draw it straight back with draw. Hit the side rail, come right back in between the six and the nine. Looks like he's going to try to spin down towards the nine. Should have some room for the six. If not, he's going to have to play one rail on the six. All right, he's out to the seven. Eight to the makeable place. Come off the top rail. Might even use the side rail for a little, little leverage. Lane's gonna get himself onto the hill.
All right, 5 2, Daryl Lane over Roland Garcia. McDowell's break. Remember, the nine doesn't count on the break. If the nine gets sunk, it stays down until the players turn the tables over. Play safe on the one. I'll leave it open. Daryl can play the one to the top right corner. Should come two rails, possibly even four, depending on how he hits it. No problem. All about the wreck. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hey, he's got the two. He's got to. He's just got to pretty much get right back to the spot he's at there for the three. And I think he overstroked it a little bit. Five might be in the way. Looks like he's got a clear shot at it though. Good speed. Got to reach over to nine, but it should be all right. Seven is still a makeable shot. Let me get his bridge out. Could play the four right in and just run into the two balls and open up a path. Get stuck on a ball, he should have a shot at the five. Yep, got stuck off the one ball. Look for a one rail kick. Wants to kind of hit it full, it doesn't want to clip the edge. He's going airborne. He's going for a jump shot. The second jump shot. He made his first. He made a jump shot earlier in, in the matchup. He's going to be rolling a chance to get out. Five in the top right. Six in the top left. the six in the same pocket. Rolling going to play the eight to the corner, come across for the nine. gets that so it's gonna be five to three Roland needs ten mr. Lane needs one
cut this to the corner, lose the six just a little bit. Five, the nine got in the way, I think. Hundred and ninety two players in this tournament. I uh, I don't know all the players. I do know some of the names. Obviously I know Roland Garcia, but I do know some of the seven hundred monsters. So if you do know somebody that's in this event, I mean good shot by Roland. Nice combo. We go make it score five four. If you do know somebody in this in this event, shout their name out in the comments try our best to get them on the stream. All right, we're at 5-4. Daryl Lane over Roland Garcia. Let's break. Takes the bottom ball. It's going to have a shot at the one, but not the best shot at the one. Could back cut it. It's a very strong back cut, though. He'd probably hit the rail and kick into that four. Bank of two rails, leave it down by the three eight. Roland got around to the five. It was a good shot. He saw up on the six. Take the seven ball. A little bit of a shadow issue there with the, the lights. Roland's going to make it five five. Got to be careful when they start to heat up. Guys, perceptive lighting. Creator of Predator Arena Light. You can check him out at arenabilliardlight.com. Let him know I sent you. All right, rack number 11. Scores tied up 5 5. Roland needs 8. Daryl needs 1. We have 45 on the stream. A little low numbers for Saturday afternoon. You can like, subscribe, and share. Get our numbers out there to everybody. I'll be here for a while today. Got nothing to do, so I'll be streaming all day. Let's 
set on the nine. Ooh. I think he can play the right side of the two. From this angle, it doesn't look like he can make it. table uh, excuse me one second i'm just gonna share out some a couple of my billiards groups Are getting quick now. Rollins out. Make it six to five. I'm ahead for a minute. Movie tips is the official tip of PA Pro Am in the 2024 Pennsylvania Matchroom Open. Check them out at movietips.com. All right, rack number 12, rolling up six to five. Nice break. Ooh, stuck on the two though. Uh, Josh and uh, they're probably standard diamond sized pockets for a bar table, so they're probably four and a half or four and three quarter you know look like there it doesn't look like it's a pro cut diamond table so it looks it's a pretty standard size assuming a place this big this uh, jobs billiards probably has a lot of leagues in there, so there might even be league cut. Right, so he back cuts the two and skims the four. All right, so you're rolling a chance to get out. Two leads from the other three. to the four. It doesn't want to get cute here. Just make this ball come off one rail. Seven and just come right across for the eight. And he gives him the out. It's going to make the score seven to five. Roland needs six. Daryl needs one. Give a shout out and thanks to Digital Pool for allowing us to stream this event. I'm streaming remotely from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This event is going on. Right now, All right, 
Rack number 13. Roland is up 7 5. Scott Frost is also in this event. Let me see who other, who other names are in this event. I don't really have the player names on this one. Rob Sayez is in this event. Sam Rowland, Travis Gillespie, Josh Gamble. A lot of those names in the Midwest, good players. Rowland is in a dilemma here. I'm assuming he's gonna to have to move at nine. Pushes into a jump shot. Daryl has made a successful jump shot and made it. A successful hit so far in this match with a jump shot. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go back in his jump queue. Let's see what he has on this one ball. Makes a nice hit on the one. One's gonna get safe. One's gonna have to pinch the bottom rail with a lot of right hand English, try to catch the edge of this one. Good speed puts him behind a nine. Yeah, Eric, Rob plays real strong. He's got here on the one ball. Nice shot on the one. Again. And then three to the four. Not to be off that rail. Hit that one just a little too hard. If I wanted to be more into the center of the table. Might not be bankable. The angle here looks tough. He might he might look like he's gonna play safe and hide behind the nine. We're gonna get his jump cue also. Roland committing the cardinal sin of not having his cues together. He starts the match. So 
Gonna look to jump the six ball into the bottom corner. Gotta be careful to scratch. We give Daryl Lane a chance to get out of this rack and secure the win. He needs four balls. Rob Say is actually playing on table five right now, so as soon as this match is over, if Daryl gets out, then we'll sh shoot over to that Rob Sayers match on table five. up a little bit on the nine. I don't know why I had to hit it so hard. Right, Daryl Lane's going to take this game down. He's going to win this matchup. So we're going to jump over to that other matchup we're talking about. Rob Sayers in table five. Adjusting the camera here for you too. I think that's about the best I can get you on the camera. Rob is playing Gabriel Booth. Rob goes to 13. Gabriel goes to 6. Split bracket races are tough, man. Especially for the higher end players. The edge of that nine with a high English stick it. I get away with it though. Five to the seven. Seems pretty simple. Seven to the eight. It could go fancy, go four rails, or two rails, depending on how it hits it. Stuff right on the nine. All 
All right, Gabriel takes a one nothing lead. One nothing Gabriel Booth over Rob Sayers, rack number two. Gonna be a dry break. Getting some numbers on each one of these players. Gabriel Booth from Tennessee, 613 Fargo with 492 robustness. Bob says 742 Fargo with over 8,000 robustness. All right, Gabriel fluked that ball in, so he's going to do a jump shot here on the one. Pretty good elevation. Nice shot on the one ball. shoot and stick the cube off maybe play the two off the rail try to connect with the nine Trying to play, he was trying to play the cue and let the cue sit on the on the point. That's a tough shot.
Looks like he's measuring out his next shots. Two nine does potentially go. He's going to have to avoid the side pocket. Should be okay. Just a little bit of low. Come off the rail. Watch five. Too much. speed off of that too kind of hurt him my right, four is in a tough spot though it's not the easiest shot to get to Gabriel might be playing a safe here he might throw the three down to the bottom rail maybe lock up on the five good Better starting position for his next shot, possibly. Looks like he's going to play the safe. He's just going to roll it down to the rail. Lock the key wall into the five. Actually, he might be going for it, too. Okay, he's hitting like he's going for it. He went to drift a little bit more on that. Put himself in a bad position there. Been caught with a little bit of left hand speed. Could also come two rails, right side rail, bottom rail. Try to kick the four in between the six, seven. I'd be on the nine. There's a couple of options, but none of them are super viable options. Come out smelling like roses on that one. I think Rob has a shot at the four. Uh, he's going back for the jump kill. Takes a good hit. Now I'd like to draw this line. 
Doesn't really leave any shot. Should play some safe here. Roll the four up and leave the cue right by the six. Leave it's gonna force Rob to kick. I've been looking bottom rail right before center diamond. Just a half a tip of high left English. If I rob, did I say that? What's the point in all we're doing pretty much the same shot again. I would just roll the four down to the rail, leave the cue ball between the six, seven. So Got just enough room to clear it past that seven. Sixty-seven on the stream. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching on a Saturday afternoon. It's there again with the safe shot. a two railer here it's a tougher two railer you have to come right in between the middle and first diamond and catch right around that third diamond on the side rail all right gabriel's chance at the table might be able to close this rack out and get himself up to nothing seven six is going to be tough for him now Ball in hand, it might be an opportunity to play the four and run into those balls, run into that seven, and kind of move it. Angle a little bit more, so use a little bit of right hand spin around four o'clock. Yeah, there is some crazy weight like uh 13 6 is a, is a tough matchup against the a higher level player especially on a bar table on a big table I, that that's a not a terrible weight but on a bar table it's, it's tough got the five in the side he just has to he just has to play through the shot play the five in the side and just come right through it a little too much too short it's gonna get away with it again now gabriel's missed twice so far and gotten away with the shot i don't know if that's gonna hold up the entire match but right now it's working for him one mail from rob he's gonna try to just kiss the edge of the five Nice return safe. 
think Gabriel might have a little clip at the five. Very, very thin, though. I'm going to have to come off the bottom rail, too. Same exact shot. That's going to give Rob a shot, though. He's going to have a play at the five. Speed rolls the six. Play the six right in the corner. Play the seven right in the side pocket. Rolls up for the nine in the top right corner. Now ourselves a tie game. You just join us. You're watching the Music City Split Bracket. Three scores tied up 1 1. Rob Sayez going to 13. Gabriel Booth only has to go to 6. Guys, excuse me one second. I'm going to step away for one minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Looks like Rob's going to be jumping at that two ball. Be careful to scratch. Nice shot by Rob Sayers.
Get a six might be a little tough. Curious about that. I even draw the four out. Let a carom on the eight. Didn't leave himself an easy shot. out for him. That six is going to move over. I was catching a little bit of a gear. Get out, he's gonna make the score two to one. All right, check out in the, spot, in the box sportswear, official sportswear, PA Pro Am, 2024 Match Room Pennsylvania Open. We have our Pennsylvania Open jerseys here for sale. If you're interested, reach out to me, get all set up. Taking pre-orders now. They're going to be shipped in a couple weeks. All right, back number four, say is up two to one. Shot on the one. The real art form to break in on a bar table. Just smashing them hard. It's not always going to work. The soft break is sometimes they cluster up. You got to find that middle point. Where it's just enough speed to open them up, but just enough speed to keep them around each other. Did a three good stroke on the three doesn't have not flat on it and a three down in the corner come across for the four in the top right a 
and a four puncher right to the center of the table. A five. I have a five draw at one rail. Give that one since we say it's up three to one over Gabriel. Score three to one. Diaz needs ten. Gabriel needs five. break should have shape on the one a little tough on the one it might be able to cut the one inside the back cut the one sideways kind of avoid that three though the cue will get a little loose on him when he shoots this one ball though it's going to move around the table a little bit could also play the safe shot Catches a bit of the two. That's going to leave him open for the two ball, though. Eight ball is a tough shot. You got to get to the eight in this rack. Two to three is not the easiest shot here either. He's going to have to roll just a little bit forward, play this pocket speed, or draw it one rail to the side pocket. Past the side pocket, I mean. Right between the, the side pocket and the first diamond. Three to the four here is key. He might even be able to open up the nine eight with the four ball. Conservative shot. Hit right around seven o'clock English, punch this ball two rails, try to get the eight in the bottom left corner. Oh, 
the opposite way. Hmm. Knocks himself a bank. I don't know if he's going to like that shot. Hell of a shot. Real strong shot. It's going to get him out to the nine. Played a nine in the bottom left. Rob Say is up four to one. Guys, let me tell you about a couple things we got going on. We got Scott Frost is coming to Philly in September, right before the match room, Pennsylvania Open. Gonna do a clinic, one pocket, two classes in one day. First one starting at 11 a.m., the second one starting at 5 p.m. It'll be a four hour class. It's 200 hours per class. If you're interested, reach out to me. I'll get you signed up. Makes one on the break. I think Gabriel sees that ball. Gotta be thin. I definitely know he can kick from behind it, but I don't it's gonna be thin on whether or not he can see it to cut it in. Shot on the one. He's going to have possession on the two. It's tougher position, but he's got the shot. Play the two in the top left corner. Come down one rail for the three. Six eight is going to be the problem. Four right up into the corner, just roll up onto the five. He comes short, he can play the five into the top right. Essentially come out three rails for the six in the same pocket. Yeah, Lamar's bar table. Uh, they're down in jobs. Uh, Billiards in Tennessee. Thank God that the brothers on the rise now. And the celebrations all in my house. Levitating now, super duper fly now. Let the boy, but they see where I reside now. But the 192 player split, excuse me, 192 player split bracket. 64 in the high and 128 in the low. Oh, 
combo. Real sick. Just has to avoid the, the nine ball when he plays the six and plays play pocket speed. Don't draw it. Control it, but it might touch the nine. Good stroke. His angle looked a little funny on that. I wasn't sure if he was going to draw it down. Gabriel has to shoot the nine in. He can score four to two. All right, four to two. Rob Sayers is on top. Gabriel's the break. Nine ball on the break does not count. If the nine is made on the break, the nine stays down until the shooter is done at the table. different role that I'm used to hearing. Touch on a break, couple down. Two down and scratch on the break, it'll be tough. See, the only tough ball for shape is six to the seven. Everything else looks pretty clear. We go two to the four, and this way doesn't have to come back up. I don't know if I like this shot, though, to be honest with you. If I like him having to draw on the six versus he would have played the four and got on the six and coasted it down. Still makeable outs, it's just just use a preference. Seven. Going to get one rail out to the eight in the right side pocket. Might even hit the second side rail.
Play the eight inside, let the Q roll down for the nine. You can even draw it back. All right, that's going to give Gabriel three. Rob kind of made a little mistake there. Guys, check out Q Pocket on Facebook. One of my favorite accessories is the Q Pocket Q holder. Top is the Musketeer, the bottom is the Recharge. The Recharge will recharge your cell phone while you're playing. I'm at Facebook.com backslash Q Pocket. I'll put a link here in the chat for you. Say is a ball in hand. He's going to play the one in the corner. Catch the side rail and hit the bottom rail for the two. He's not going to get. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Well, that was a two. That's the four. A little hard time with the light here. See the colors. Too much on the six. He still has it in the corner pocket. I have to give the cue ball a little bit of a run now. Make the seven across the table. He's going to hold it for the eight. Too far. Like what I'm saying is letting the stroke out now. Eight to the bottom corner to the nine. It'll be five three says. Guys, a couple other things we got coming up in two weeks. We have the 499 and under challenge, in Philadelphia. It's gonna be a bluegrass billiards, $90 entry fee, the minimum 200 robustness. You have to be 499 or under the morning of the event. Double elimination, six on the winners, five on the losers. Finals is a modified race to eight. Everybody that participates in a PA Pro Am event this year gets a ticket. For free drawing to participate in the Pennsylvania Open Matchroom event. We're giving away one slot for that. All right, Rob Scratches. Big ball in hand to Gabriel. A little bit of a cluster there in the middle. Should you be running your own event, Scott?
is our uh, Pennsylvania State Championship Jackets. I made you have show up, Scott. Makeable shot, it's just gonna be out of line now. It's not a bad, it's not a bad for 22 players. on the two key ball's gonna rock it off that that second rail got past it and she came out smelling like roses there got a pretty good position three to the four four to the five okay, april might get out of this rack Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching, pal. Appreciate it. Two rails to the six. Good stroke. Just play that six into the corner. Depending on how he feels about his stroke, he can either just draw the cue ball to the right, play the seven in the side pocket, or just let the cue ball float to the bottom rail and play the seven up into the corner. play the seven in the side a couple options you can let the cue ball run to the top rail and let it run to the top rail come down play the nine in the same pocket i think i'd use an 11 o'clock english here just playing both in the same pocket out for him he's gonna have the nine in the bottom right corner all right it's five four and the pros are getting drummed on right now sayas needs eight gabriel needs two Number 10, Rob Say is up five to four. He needs eight more racks. Gabriel needs two. It's tough for the pros in this event. On a bar table, anybody can really get out and have to spot this much weight. Real tough. Pros, some of these pros are able to string together three, four, or five racks in a row, so they get moving. Can 
give you some scores here on the high bracket. John Clayton is up four to two over Brian Wilson. Kevin Ping is up five to two over Ray Edwards. Jeff Cook is up three to two over Mike Clevenger. Hunter Griggs is up four to two over Kyle Helm. Donnie Thompson is up four to one over Kevin Joyner. Jerry Clayman is up six to four over Dwight Connie. Rusty Jackson is currently up seven to five over Sam Rowland. And Matthew Moore is up five to three over Tad Pernay. Might sound a little nasally today, guys. I apologize. I feel a little under the weather. household here got hit pretty good with some colds this week That's a quick rack. It's going to be 6 4. Steer, one of the best in the business. Tell them I sent you. Pretty much got every cue you could ever need. Check them out at integritycues.com. Say is up six to four. Needs seven more. Take a shot of liquid courage real quick. Come back to the table. I think you might be taking a restroom break here for a minute. While he's doing that, we'll pay some bills. Tell you about some more tournaments that we have going on. up on March 2nd we have the rally in the valley matchroom qualifier it's an open event it's a tiered entry you have if you're a 600 above Fargo you pay $80 to get in if you're a 500 to 600 I'm sorry 500 to 599 Fargo you pay 60 if you've never had a Fargo or you're below 500 you pay 40 to get in it's double elimination Races to six and five. Finals extended to eight. Winner will receive a paid entry into the Rally in the Shenandoah Valley Matchroom event. There is a minimum limit. We need at least 48 players in this event for the event to happen. If we do not get 48 players, we will reschedule the event. I believe we're getting close to that number, though. Still have a couple more weeks. This is our schedule of events for PA Pro-Am for 2024. 
Uh, you notice there, April 27th, that event is going to be rescheduled. That was a double book at the pool hall by accident. May 4th, we'll have our second annual Pennsylvania State Women's Championship. Also going to have our 10 ball open, match room qualifier. There could be a possibility that I'll be running a U.S. Open qualifier also. June 20th, we're going to be doing a bank pool tournament. A lot of cool stuff. If you're on the East Coast, get in touch with me. Get to some of these events. Our Facebook group. Sign up for all the events that we have going on. All right, so while Rob is taking a break, I'm going to take a break for one second. I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Guys, check out our friends over at Designer Game Rooms, located on 178th North Pine Street in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. They're the local Brunswick dealer. They also sell coded cues, McDermott cues. They also have 100 cues on display. Reach out to them. Let them know I sent you. Hey, Carrie, how's it going? We're looking for some really cool designs on some shirts. Check out my buddy Max here at Living Good Ball Club. It's a livinggoodshop.com. Max makes Max has a very eclectic taste in art. I actually really dig his art. Uh, you should check him out there on Instagram too at Living Good Ball Club. He's also going to be at the 2024 Super Billiards Expo and he's going to be doing a limited edition print for that event. You can reach out to him and grab one of those. Tell him I sent you. 
Also, he does a lot of patches for Kamui. Stop by the Kamui booth. I'm sure he'll be there with me and him. All right, Rob Says is back. All right, he's leading six to four. He needs 13. Gabriel needs six. So Gabriel needs two. Rob needs seven. Just joining us, you're watching the Jobs Music City split bracket event. 192 players, 64 on the high side, 128 on the low side. Tennessee. Thanks, Carrie. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for coming by. All right, Say is going to play the two in the corner. I'm going to just stop the cue ball and roll the three down to the bottom. Maybe be able to get the three in the side pocket. You love me. You really love me. Fires that one in with authority. It's gonna get right down to the four. That was a good shot. What is the lowest Fargo I've ever seen? Or lowest Fargo? Well, the highest Fargo I've ever seen is uh, Josh Filler. Uh, technically, actually, I, I saw a guy win a 930 Fargo once, but he had like six robustness, so that doesn't really count. Uh, the highest I've ever had on the stream is Josh Filler. Uh, I have genuinely seen somebody that had a 100 Fargo with like 600 robustness. Um, a disabled player, they were very, they just love the game, love playing. Oh, that's going to be a bold hand foul. Gabriel's going to have a chance to get out of here. Oh, in this. Um, so I've only, this is only the second match I've done so far. So this is the high side. So I believe Gabriel was a 620. Rob Sayers is a 742. And then last matchup, we had Roland Garcia. He was 810. And I believe his opponent was 670. All right, see, Gabriel's going to play the five in, come across one rail. Yeah, Josh played real strong last week on the streams. Had a whole bunch of his matches on last week. He was just putting foot to ass to everybody. Playing real good. Probably still sleeping. Gabriel's got a chance to play the seven here, come up one rail and get himself onto the nine to get onto the hill. Two rails now for the nine. False mistake by Rob Sayers. All right, it's gonna put Gabriel on the hill. He's gonna have five.
All right, rack number 12. Sayers is in the lead with the rack count, but Gabriel is actually in the lead. He's on the hill. Also, guys, if you know anybody uh, that's playing in this event that's on the stream, make sure you tag your friends and family. Have them get on here and watch them. When we're done this matchup here. We're just going to basically pick matchups. So if you know anybody that's playing, might go to table 10. And a young lady here in the high bracket, Brittany Belland. Not sure if that's the high bracket or the low bracket. I think they're actually starting to mix them together now. Oh, we'll still jump over to table 10. Some ladies representation here. Rob Sayers is a super strong player from the Connecticut area. It's just, it's tough giving up seven, seven games on the wire, on, on, not on a bar box table. I might not win it, but shit, I'm, Efren's gonna give me seven games on the wire. I'll play. In the side, he's going to have the four in the corner. And a four come across one, possibly two rails for the five. Hit this ball nice and thin. And get a good shot. Play the six in the corner, come one rail, a little bit of high. Just a tiny bit of right. A little bit of a tough cut for the eight, not most ideal, but he should be fine with it. Should be able to just cut it right to the top left corner and come across for the nine. Nice jumbo pockets here on these diamond seven foot tables. I'm going to play this nine down to the corner. Rob Say is going to get himself up to seven. Seven five, Rob Zayas. Rack number thirteen. I stretch the neck a little bit here. It's gonna be a two day event. It's gonna go well into tomorrow. I think on the flyer they said they're not gonna call any matches after one thirty tonight. down looks like he's gonna might have some shape on the one that could be the easiest shot on the one but we will have some kind of shape on it if he hits this right he might actually be able to open up that five nine this would about a five o'clock english i'm just gonna play some safe Great shot, so Gabriel's gonna have to kick at it. 
and hit the side rail. Should hit it right around the first diamond. It should give him a clear hit on the one. Might even catch that second top rail. English on that shot. You have to let it spin off the rail. Alright, eyeball's gonna spot. That should be. Should be all Rob says. Needs to get out. Open up his trouble ball. Play the one, make the cue come off the side rail. Room's a little quiet today. About 10 of 5. Don't be afraid to talk to me. Don't let me talk to myself all night. I do anyway, but at least, you know, make me feel good about it. Two rails out, four on the side. That's a good shot. If you're at the bar or the pool hall, ask going to put me on on the television. Some other people watching. If you're at home, tell, turn on all your television. I need the numbers. I'm going to make sure we're going to distract some. Play the seven in the corner. Come out one rail for the nine on the bottom right. It's lined up perfect. We'll get the respect from Gabriel. Score is going to be eight to five now. Dylan, I believe it's a, I believe it's 130. Let me, let me check for you. So Rob says is 742, and Gabriel Booth, check for you one second. There's a Gabriel Booth from Tennessee that shows 613 Fargo. I'm not sure if this is the same gentleman with 492 robustness. That is a pretty big spot. I would say maybe make these uh, the pro players maybe go to 11. I don't know if 13 would be ideal. I'm not running the tournament. I'm over here in Philadelphia just doing a live stream for them. I'm not saying they're doing a bad job either. I just that's a big spot no matter who you are. But also some of these guys get on a get on a roll. You know, I've watched in person. I've watched couple of pro players run eight nine racks and in, in on a bar box all right say is the break he's up eight to five he needs five more Gabriel needs one Nice plant. Gonna have shape on the one. That's a beautiful break. Three down, shape on the one. This has to avoid the eight. He's gonna hit the eight and run into it. Good shot. Center ball two into the right corner. Play the three in the same pocket. All right. A little bit of inside kill on this shot. Play it in. Come two rails. Right, they didn't even have to get that far. Eight could be tricky here, though. Smart. He wants to be straight on it. But 
Nice shot on the eight. He's going to shoot the nine into the bottom corner. All right. That's nine. It's Rob Say's game to lose. It's his table right now. Guys, if you're a small business or looking to get into the pool business here, we got our, our Matchroom Pennsylvania Open coming up in September. We have a couple sponsorship opportunities if you're interested. We have a $300, a $500, $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 packages. Uh, I can pretty much offer a package for any budget. Uh, great for small business or pool business. If you're interested, get in touch with me. Let me know. We can definitely work something out. Digital Pool said it's going to be one of their biggest tournaments of the year. I'm expecting over half a million dollars. Okay, over half a million viewership. All right, nine five. Say is up to break. Got that rack dialed in. I have shape on the one. He might be out again. Gotta get around that five ball. Yeah, clean around that five ball. This could be another rack. So he plays the bump. He's going to play the three into the corner. two options here you can play the three into the quarter with a lot of high right english ball speed and just catch the rail or he could play a little bit of a draw and try to run into that eight ball right at the rail also enough to pit at pocket speed good shot Five into the six. Play the five, get to the seven in the side pocket. Might even take the seven in the corner. Up into the five, into the side. Go up to the top rail, a little bit of left. Should be able to just drag this down the table. All right, say so is that 10. All right, 10-5. Like I said, say is his game to lose. He's uh, on a roll right now. He needs three. Gabriel needs one. Been playing that cue the last couple of breaks. Got shape on the one.
Got a one in the left corner or low left. Come out. He's going to move the eight. Oh, it's going to move closer to the four. It's going to be tough. Here's a shot of the tournament here for right now for Rob Sayas. Just gotta get back onto that four. Like good safe. Oh, he doesn't want to make it. Not the worst either. I'm actually a fan of this shot though. Gabriel can hit this ball. Down into the corner. Around the four o'clock English. Don't hit it. Don't hit it like you're drawing it. Stroke through the ball. Let the cue ball hit the rail and spin down. He might be able to get to the four. Safe shot's probably the shot to play here, though. We got the fat puppy with us. He's a 900 Fargo. She said, but he's got the eight in the brakes. All right, three down to the corner. Looks like he's going to go for it. Get there. Good shot. Four looks like it goes. It looks like he was trying to put a draw stroke on it. Maybe just coast the four in, play the five in the side. He's gonna play safe. Rob can see some of the ball though. I wonder if Rob can pinch it down, put it between the the bottom rail and the nine. He's gonna jump. Rob says did make a nice jump shot earlier. Safe shot. That's going to make Gabriel come to the table with his jump cue. And have a jump battle here now.
you call me CEO, I've been running shit from right B. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, make them pleasure out of pain. Uh, turn it Foot on the replay button. I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange. Uh, popping off and risking things, gonna make a name, I just wanna be famous. But I don't want that cheap fame. No, Ooh, he jumps off the table, it's gonna be ball in hands of Rob. Be tough, it's gonna to open up all the shots for him, also. To the five. Every chance I get, I don't really take a straight steep angle on the five, though. Make it to the top, yeah. I commit, and no, I'm never getting lost. I get after it. Investing in my once you get to the left side of the spot after making the five, that was bent. Everything that you see is something I invent, and it's only a percent. I'm gonna take shots if I miss off. Forget it. I'll take a fast. Should be okay there, but no, he wanted to be over just a little further. Just roll it down slightly. Out of inside, good shot. Down the eight. A little shot of liquid courage. Get himself back over for the nine ball in the bottom right corner. down on the nine He's trying to get himself to 11 all right he's at 11 he needs two more gabriel needs one Right, rack number 17. Rob Say is up 11 to 5. Just joining us, you're watching the 2024 Music City split bracket. 64 players on the high side, 128 players on the low side. Be a two day event. We're at Jobs Billiards in Madison, Tennessee. I am in Philadelphia. Another three on the break for Rob. He's going to lean over the top of the five, though. It's going to be tough. We got 80 on the stream. Don't be afraid to like, share, subscribe. That's going to be a tough shot for him playing the three into the corner. Got to get shape on the four.
Maybe go on the side with it. Gonna bump. Ooh. It's gonna hurt him. He's gonna have to play safe. Bank the four, put the cue ball behind the seven nine. Nicely, he was going to force Gabriel to jump or kick at it. One, possibly two rails. Gonna do here. He's going to go get his jump kill. It's the one th tough thing about leaving a jump shot. You never know what you're going to get afterwards. I think he has a clear shot on the four, though. It looks like he should have it in the top right corner. Now that 7-9 is a little tied up. Straight. Might be able to cheat the pocket on this. A nice bump on the shot. That's a hell of a shot. Looks like Rob Say is going to get himself onto the hill. Uh, wait a He's taking his cue apart. It says 12. Okay. Guess he thought it was over. <laughs> he needs one more. They're on the hill. Number 18, down and dirty. Both players need this rack. Gabriel has been in the seat for about six racks now. Hasn't really had any clear shot. That might be all for the young man. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. 
I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test then. Respect nothing less, you check as I'm chest, it's happening next year. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just hold an obsession. I'm in his possession, you got the retention, I'll leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play it, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands came from the beat, from who deceived me. Bloody hands break through the chains, so free me. He did not get out as far as he wanted to. At the safety blanket with the 3 8, he's got to make sure that he doesn't make them both, though. A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem. We could change the world, change times, rearrange them. Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase. I don't want to place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts. Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. Plays on the side. Good shot. Right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break. Off from the weak mind. Think it stays soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five. No mean boss. Just my life and free thoughts. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way. What I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands came from the beat from who deceived me. Oh, he wanted to come up further on that one. Does he go for the bank or does he play the safe? He's been stroking the past couple racks. It looks like he's hitting it pretty firm. Looks for the shot to get out. Nice shot by Rob Sayers. Seven down for the nine. Rob Sayers is going to overcome a seven rack spot to win this match 13 to 5 on the hill. All right, we're going to jump over to our next table here. Let's see who we have available. Over to table three, Jennifer Young and Danny Clay. Admittedly, guys, I don't know a lot of these people in the tournament. So if you know anybody that's playing in the tournament, make sure to shout them out to me in the chat here. This is the short race. Looks like Jennifer's on the hill. She only needs one more, and Clay needs three. Fight for 
my veins I've been driving this train Fears in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, giving breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never change All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say Better fly on the side. He's jacking up, though. I might, I might hit the point. All right, Jennifer's turning to the table. She's gonna shoot the five. She has a six-nine combo, possibly. Gotta play off the left side of the six and carry him to key into the nine. She's coming back over. She can play off the edge of the six. Might be able to make the nine. See what she has for her shot. Guys, we're going to jump to another table here in a second. Try table 20. Looks like they're playing on table 20. That match just ended. Might be doing the low side bracket right now. Let's try table table four. This is Aaron King and Michael Sanders. Aaron's currently up two to one. Michael needs two. Aaron needs two. 
Get your high side matchup. We'll jump over to table 19. Right here we got Skylar Mitchell. We're against Lee Yulis. Lee needs to go to eight. Skylar needs to go to six. Not sure which players are which here, so we'll have to figure this out after the rack. Based off the names, I'm assuming this is probably Skyler at the table. Safe shot. We're going to say right now that this is Lee until we see any different. Two rail on the kick.
a little too much on that draw. ball down into the corner but also go on the side with it five ball on the side come one rail for the six Six ball, go two rails for the seven. Uh, one rail out works too. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting serious feed issues on my end here. I think I'm going to shut the stream down for a minute, reinitialize, and come right back. Set the stream back up. Good shot. One of the eight in the side there. Now he's got to draw it. Shoot this in the corner. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna re reinitialize this stream, but it's just coming in very choppy here on my end. So I'll be back in a few minutes. As soon as you see us pop right back up, just jump right back on. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> 